Hello lovely people, how are you all doing today? I do hope you're well. I am. Uh, it's another slightly dull day, so I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to get stuck in, oh, one more roll of the shirt sleeve, to some cooking. A bit different for me today because, well, a couple of things. One, no allotment veggies again, so this is something we can all do from the shop, so you don't need to have a garden. Uh, although if you had a garden, it would make it cheaper. But also I'm following a recipe. Oh, shock horror. Yes, I'm following a recipe. I'm following the Goan flour curry recipe from that recipe box I got. Here's, the, um, here's what came. <laughs> Spices, basically. More of that in a second. Yeah, so this is, if you remember when I was doing my shopping and freebies video, this is one of the things that um, I was invited to partake of for free. So I got four different recipe selections for free. I just paid one pound for postage. So in other words, each, each little selection is about 25p. I'm going to come on to costs at the end um, more thoroughly. But just to say, this is a subscription service, and as I was mentioning in that previous video, yes, try something for free, brilliant, but just remember to cancel the subscription if it's not something you want to carry on with. And this is normally £9.99 for the four. In other words, that would be £2.50. It's definitely not something I want to carry on with. Um, oh, hang on, the freezer's just kicked in. Oh, it just makes life too complicated. I've turned the freezer off. I'll just turn it off for the next hour. Everything will be fine in there, and then I'll turn it back on. Yes, uh, 9.99 for four is certainly not something I want to subscribe to. I'm happy to try. I, I mean, when it turned up, honestly, I thought, what a waste. Give them all away to friends. And then I thought, no, do you know what? I like curry. Let's give this one a go. Um, but yeah, back to that unsubscribing thing. I put a date on my pin board, unsubscribe by certain date. I tried to do it straight away and it said, you can't unsubscribe, you're on your trial period. So I think it's like, yeah, be really careful. I did unsubscribe and what was interesting was uh, there were about seven or eight different options to tick or a box at the bottom other reason for reasons for unsubscribing and I think it was like the second reason down it gave I thought this was a meal box that included all the ingredients so that's why I took because that's what I thought it was I thought I was getting a meal kit as in everything for a meal including the you know the food the ingredients so it just it, that made me think They've obviously had people making the same assumption slash mistake as me, that we think we're getting a meal kit. We're not. You're just getting a recipe card and some spices. And the other thing with the, the recipe card, so here's the recipe on the back, and then there's this section at the end. I think it's sort of slightly perforated. Um, so you can tear this bit off. It says, for your shopping list. But I don't know, I mean, I th it's like, what a waste, because who's going to, like, say you've got all four of them, you're not going to tear off all four and have, walk around with all four as you're shopping this, because they're not in the right order for when you go to the shop, you know, we all do our, well, I presume, don't you? I certainly do my shopping list where I've got all my fresh produce first, and then I might go to chiller produce, you kind of, you know, dairy, butter, cheese, whatever it is, my bakery produce, my tinned produce, and then my, if I'm doing that kind of shop, my sort of toiletries, cleaning products, loo roll, that sort of thing. Anyway, so a bit gimmicky, waste of time. Never mind. I've got this. I my subscription is cancelled so I'm not going to be charged for any more let's dive in and see what this is like I'll show you the ingredients then we'll get cooking and then we'll come back here and I'll go through uh, yeah I'll go through the costs with you and see what we think we'll have a taste test as well of course right let's go on with the ingredients 
Well, let's start off with what came in the kit, the, this sort of spice selection. There is a spice blend, that's dry powdered stuff. There's coconut paste, and then there's the masala paste. So that's our sort of curry spices. Now it does, it does describe it as a two out of three in terms of heat. So I may only use half of this because I'm not really into a lot of heat. And then I can use the other half in, in my own recipe. So that's what came with the kit. And then one needs to purchase on top of that. And oh, so I'm going to make this. The recipe card gives options for making it for two or for making it for four. I always make for four. Then I'll have some for the freezer, one for today, one for the fridge, two for the freezer, although the fridge isn't working, so <laughs> one for outside on the roof. Uh, it called for one onion, but these are quite small, so I've put in two onions, a cauliflower. I'll come back to the cauliflower in a second. A tin of chickpeas, a tin of coconut milk. I actually bought the light by mistake. I quite prefer the full one. Then it said three tomatoes, but tomatoes are out of season, so I bought a tin of plum tomatoes. I'll just chop those up. 100 mils of water. Uh, rice, obviously, for serving up. I'm not actually going to cook any rice for it today but I have done the costing for the meal if you include um, a serving of rice bit of olive oil yeah that's it that's our ingredients now with the cauliflower all the leaves and the and the sort of base of the stalk I'm not going to throw it, I'm not going to throw them away the recipe doesn't include them um, however there's goodness in them so what I will do is I'll get them chopped off Get them washed, packed dry, chop, 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 chop them up, put them in one of my little um, Tupperware trays and whack them in the freezer and they can go into either a soup or a different curry on another day, but none of this will be wasted. So um, that's our ingredients. Let me get on with getting everything prepped and then we can put it all together. So I've got my oil on, that's warming up. And into it are going to go, I've just finely chopped the onion and it will be joined by the tomatoes. These were plum tomatoes, so I've chopped them up a little bit and the juice is in them. And then that 100 mils of water I've just put into the bottom of the tomato can just to get the last remnants of the tomato juices out. And while that's just warming up, I'm just going to finish prepping the cauliflower. So... It's, the recipe says break it into florets and add them whole. However, that's they're, they're quite chunky and I'm just thinking in terms of cooking time. So I'm just cutting them down oh, maybe in half or into thirds. Thinking about, say, how long the chickpeas take. Now the chickpeas, the, the, the can of chickpeas, they're obviously they're already cooked. Um, they're cooked before they go in the can so in fact the chickpeas are all they need to do is warm through so um yeah they're not cooking not worrying about it the only thing really that's cooking well the onions and tomato are going to go in and they're going to cook obviously but the thing that will take the time is the cauliflower and like i said a second ago i've got all the um I've got all the green bits set aside. They're going to be washed, chopped and frozen for use at a later date in yeah, soup, curry, what have you. Likewise, the stalky bit, I'll chop it down. I'll have some of it in this curry. <laughs> it doesn't say to add the stalk, but... I can't bear waste. Okay, I'm going to put that with my others to um, to go into the freezer for use at a later date. Okay, so that's all my veggies and my bits prepped. Just it's only a very very few minutes of prep. And obviously, if I bought tin uh, tins of ready chopped tomatoes, even quicker. And like I said, the recipe actually called for. Oh, where's the oven gloves? The recipe actually called for fresh tomatoes. It's, where are we? We are, in my time, we're right at the end of February. You're not going to see this till March. 
it's um yeah there's no there's no fresh tomatoes in the only tomatoes that would be available as in the fresh ones they'll be um <laughs> they'll be grown under lights in greenhouse it's that kind of winter tomato that's tasteless and watery no thank you i'd rather have um tin tomatoes which hopefully will have been bottled at their best right i'm just going to get everything in order that's that that's that that's that i'm just going in order of when they're going to be added so <laughs> Oil. Give me a second, let's wait until this um, this oil gets hot enough to add ingredients to. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. So, in go, heat the oil, in goes the onion. And every last bit. <laughs> onion in and tomato. following a recipe and then it says uh, cook for three minutes just while we wait for that to cook a bit um here is the recipe card i think on the does it say on the front i think i mean it's this i think this would be a good ruler. these might be worth it if you're if you're not used to cooking if you're and you're wanting to you know explain extend your recipe repertoire um experiment but it's got you know some useful information gluten-free vegetarian good but this is this is the thing we all want to know isn't it 20 minutes cooking time you know if you've just come in from work boy oh boy you want to get something down your chops don't you um serves so two or four i've gone for the four that's what i meant about the the heat it's got two chilies out of three calories per portion when you're serving two people 550 this will be a bit lower than that because i'm using um light coconut milk so it's all very clear and then the actual instructions it's all really clear you know here's our basic list of ingredients step by step instructions dead easy and then there's some little you can add extra stuff or you can swap this for that like it says swap cauliflower for mushrooms swap coconut milk for yogurt make it milder duh, duh, duh. um tip when frying the onions don't get them too brown etc etc so i think like i said i think if you are if you're quite new to cooking and you wanted to try different things i think this would be you know it's a nice idea for getting you trying different things but essentially it's what you get from a recipe book isn't it i think it's just that it's what's good about this is it's broken down so easily and clearly um right well that's going to take a, a couple of minutes to cook down a bit and then we can start adding so i'm not going to show you all the steps because otherwise we'll be here well, we'll be here for 20 minutes. Shall we do it in real time? <laughs> do you want to hang around with me that much? Um, I suppose we could talk about costs while we're at it, can't we? And then we're not just, we haven't got dead air time. The, um, I, I costed out the cauliflower. Um, cauliflower at my local greengrocer was £2.50, which seems quite a lot. This one, of course, I went to Lidl and got it for 99p. Now, with all these spices, everything that we're adding, like I said, it's, 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 it's a trial at 25p. I don't like all this plastic, even though it says it's all recyclable. Well, to me, recycling is the very, very last option. Um, I mean, hopefully we don't put anything in landfill anymore, but even though it can be recycled, for me, it's like, ah, 
such diddy portions, I would rather buy my spices in in bigger packets, in you know, in glass jars or bigger sort of cardboard packets with maybe a tiny bit of cellophane as a window so you can see and you know, decant then get them home and decant them into my own smaller spice jars. And that's what I do. I tend to buy I tend to buy in bulk, decant into my spice jars to just use what I need you know, it's to hand. And also that means when I'm buying bigger, it's it generally works out more economical. But I think, you know, you could probably do this with a really basic uh, um, curry mix, a sort of masala, garam masala, ready mixed with spices. Has that been three minutes? It said three minutes. <laughs> it's very wet with the tomatoes. I think this may take, it, it's talking later on about simmering for eight minutes, I think it might take longer. Okay, let's start adding. So the masala paste. So this is the one that I only want to use half of. There we go. Because, oh gosh, it smells lovely. I'm going to get a teaspoon. I am... Um, I love, I love the taste, I've said this before I'm sure, I love the taste of spices, but I don't like heat, I don't like heat blowing my, um, blowing the top of my skull off. The other thing that struck me when I sat down and wrote out, so I'll save that and use in, in my own recipe or something else. The, the one thing that, I, that did occur to me when I sat down the other evening to write out my shopping list uh, for this and I was looking at the card I thought actually it's it's remarkably similar to my squash and chickpea curry remarkably similar and when I do my own curry quite often I don't add coconut milk because that is an expense although oh, I think it's worth it it's like when I was saying with the leek and potatoes adding butter it just takes it to another level so it says, stir that in and cook for two minutes. Um, yeah, I thought this is remarkably like um, like any of the curries I make. The big difference has been in these last few years that I've tried to cook everything I've cooked and everything that's in my in the kitchen playlist. Let me just bring you up so I can see you. Creaky, creaky tripod. Hold on a sec. Um, there we go. Yeah, everything that I've cooked in my play in my in the kitchen playlist, um, I've tried to make everything about cooking pretty much just with the veg from the garden. Or let's say there's there are five or six ingredients in a recipe. I've tried to do it so that two, three, four ingredients even are from the garden, and therefore. <laughs> Um, things like butternut, butternut and chickpeas, they're something I grow. Cauliflowers, on the other hand, are something I've only grown them, I think, twice in 15 years because they take up a lot of space. Each head, if that's my head of collie, you end up needing a couple of foot all around it. Now, of course, the outer leaves, I'll eat the outer leaves as I would any brassica leaf, great. But yeah, they just take up a bit too much space in the garden, so you don't, you're not getting that same bang for your buck as with, say, something like the Cavallo narrow kale, which grows so tall and slim, you can pack loads into a smaller space. So anyway, the point is, yes, very similar to curries that I've made in the past, but it's quite, it feels a bit naughty, it feels very nice to be cooking with a cauliflower today, because... Yeah, like I said, over the years, I've tried to avoid buying any vegetables and make my recipe videos only with what I've grown. Certainly, any vegetables are added, only what I've grown. Obviously, I add things like rice, lentils, oil to the shop bought. Okay, that's had a couple of minutes. Then what's next? It says stir in the coconut paste. Mix well and gently bring to the boil. It's now coming to the boil. The coconut paste. Can't get in. Can't get into it. Okay. 
coconut paste. I've never seen, I've never seen or used coconut paste before, have you? It smells, it smells almost fruity. Will it blob out? Oh yeah, it blobbed out. Oh, you can't see now. I've tipped the camera up. Up, down, up, down. Um, so stir the coconut paste. Stir that in. Okay, stirry, stirry, stirry. Then pour in the coconut milk and then bring it to the bowl. That's what it says. So coconut milk in. That has separated in the um, tin a bit, but don't mind, it's all in there now. It's quite sloppy, runny. I would probably, I don't normally use quite so much liquid when I make a curry. Okay, bring it to the boil and then, I'm gonna take, so I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna keep you here all this time. So basically I'm now going to bring it to the boil and once it's on the boil again, add the cauliflower and the chickpeas. Simmer for eight minutes. So that should do one of two, do two things. It should reduce this sauce a bit, if you like, and um, obviously cook the cauliflower. Now, if I was having this with rice, it depends what kind of rice. I only ever use brown rice. So I would have got my rice on the go already because brown rice about 25 minutes. So I reckon if I'd started the rice, then start this, by the time all this is done, it should coincide with the rice. But like I said, I'm not gonna bother with rice today. I'm just gonna have this for lunch, so no need. But obviously, if you were you, I've just, I've just splattered the wall. I've got to mark. I'm gonna get that off the wall because <laughs> I haven't gone to all the trouble to, um, I I'm behind you. <laughs> I'm going to all the trouble to to get my walls painted and get everything white again. Let's get that off before it sets or before it stains. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can hear any noise in the background, but the chaps are here in the hallway starting on their thing. Maybe they'd like to try this for their lunch too. Right, okay, I'm going to... I need to turn that up to bring it back to the ball. I'm going to skedaddle for a minute, and when this is more done, once, yeah, chickpeas, cauliflower in, I think, and then there's one more bit of spiciness to add in. Let's have a little sniff of this now. Ooh. Mm. That is seedy, mustard seeds and star anise. I don't know that it needs it. I might do a little bit of it. Uh, yeah, also, I think that's the other thing, isn't it? I'm just going to say this quickly before we go and I'll add all these bits. Did I add my water? Uh, add, where's it? Add 100 mils of water. It does not need the water. I'm not going to add the water. That's what I was just about to say about this, this, the idea of following a recipe that it's a bit anathema to me. My temptation all the time is to change this, tweak that, remove this, add that. And you can, <laughs> that's the thing. You know, you see a recipe that you think, oh, that looks lovely, but oh, there's one ingredient there I don't like. Take that one ingredient out. Um, you know, try it, you never know. We were talking about this with that, with that Pulse book I, that I was talking about that had quite a few chefy ingredients in. That I, I suppose when you first try a recipe, try it exactly as it's written in the recipe book or what you find online, etc. etc. But yeah, don't be afraid to change things up a bit and make your own of it and do your own thing. I am going to hold on to this um, water and that dragon tomato juice for a second because I'm thinking once I've added the cauliflower and chickpeas. Um, the levels yeah don't don't be afraid to to change things up it's weird being t looking at this recipe and t being told what to do and like I said I don't know that that's those seedy bits at the end are necessary we might try it though anyway that's enough for now let me crack on with this and join me again when hopefully it's all done and we're ready to taste it
Right, well this is how it looks. It's actually gone down a bit already because I've just taken some of it out to my lovely decorators out there, the two of them. Right, I don't need a huge amount. Just, I think um, it does seem very liquid. I think if, mm, it smells good though. I think that's because I've used that, um, the coconut milk that's the sort of the half fat one. If it was the full fat coconut milk, I think it would be even, even better. Right, let's have a taste test and talk numbers. Okay, time to try it. Oh, <laughs> maybe I could have gone smaller with the florets. Fuff it, fuff it. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. It was <laughs> it was temperature hot, really hot. Um yeah, it's nice, it's mild. God, it was really hot. I left um that that was on the simmer for 15 minutes but the cauliflower is still really crunchy i like that though i like my veg with a bit of bite i better not have any more it's boiling hot i'll leave that a spoonful proud to so i can fluff it um yeah it's nice it's mild it's lovely to have cauliflower i haven't had cauliflower for ages the the sauce is a bit disappointing i think because of the coconut milk being the half fat one never mind would i do it again well i make i make curry all the time i do mine slightly differently um i think i prefer my own <laughs> in all honesty I wonder how much difference the coconut milk would make. Never mind, never mind. So I did half the amount of the, the masala paste. And for me, that's, I think that's just the perfect amount of taste without it being spice hot, not temperature hot, spice hot, fine. Um, now, in terms, I've got to have another mouthful. <laughs> mm. Actually, that's lovely. That was a mouthful with the chickpeas. That was really lovely. I think, yeah, the cauliflower is really al dente still. I wonder if, whether it would have been worth steaming the cauliflower a little bit beforehand. But anyway, I like it. I'm going to scoff it. I've just taken a couple of bowls out to the to the decorators. I've said, look, if you don't like it, just leave it. You know, won't be offended at all. Anyway, um, but they said, you know. They, they were getting the wafts of the smells. So, um, yeah, money stuff. There was something else I wanted to say and I've completely forgotten. If I remember, I remember. And if I don't, I don't. Uh, I went to Lidl. I got my, the coconut was 79p. I'll do this slowly in a second. Tomatoes, 35. Chickpeas, 49. Cauliflower, 99. They're all on there. Ignore the total of £4.31 because I also bought some butter because uh, that was on my shopping list. So there we go. There's me, me proofy bit, but the actual cost to make the whole dish because I had onions, I had rice. So if I was doing this is for four people with rice, we've got cauliflower 99p, onions 23p, Tomatoes, 35p. Chickpeas, 49p. Coconut milk, 79p. Remember, this is a little, so it's cheaper. Rice would work out at 40 pence. It's £1.39 a kilo of brown rice. It's, it would work out at 10 pence each person. The spices with this offer were 25p. That gives me a total of £3.50 or 87.5 pence per person and that's including rice obviously i'm not having rice at the minute that would be with rice too so that's a big full meal for 87 and a half p not bad if you bought the kit at its normal price it would bump it up to five pound 75 and therefore the meal would be one pound 44 per person I do not think that is worth £2.99. Um, just eat yourself. 
looking at all the ingredients, say with the masala paste, there's so much in there that I wouldn't add and that I don't need. The spices in it are ginger, chilies, coriander, nutmeg, paprika, cumin, turmeric. I mean, I have all those spices anyway, so use those. But as for the, it also included sunflower oil. Well, I've got my oil there. Water, I hate paying for water. Tomato puree, salt, caster sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, garlic puree, minced onion. I've got onions in there too. So I'd rather put it together myself. That would actually bring the cost down. The coconut paste, I would happily do without that. And then the seeds at the end, it was mustard seed and some ground um, star anise and turmeric. Don't need it, don't need it. So yeah, value for money, what do you guys think? I, I don't think this is worth it, but I think um, a cauliflower and chickpea curry is, <laughs> dare I, I'm, <laughs> I don't dare do a piece of cauliflower on camera. So what? Look, a cauliflower and chickpea curry is always going to be delicious. I think with this, it's going to be even better tomorrow because all it's going to marinate. So the the chickpeas are lovely. They're kind of squishing slightly to the bite, but the cauliflower is going to get more and more of that flavour. So I think tomorrow it'll be really yummy. For my own reference or my own personal taste, I should have done it with full fat coconut milk. I don't use coconut milk all the time, so as a one-off, it's a treat, fine. In terms of, you know, calorific and fat value. Um, also, when I do, I would probably fry the onion off on its own first of all, then add the tomatoes. That's what I was saying earlier on about make a recipe your own. Anyway, there we go. I'm gonna have four dinners for eight seven and a half people that includes if i use rice because i'm having a little one for lunch and i gave the lads just a tiny little bit as a taster that probably is three meals left there so i'm going to eat very nicely for the next three nights actually i will freeze a portion just to see how it freezes not too much not a full portion because if it doesn't freeze well i don't want to have wasted it but i will try some in the freezer oh that's what i wanted to say it said 20 minutes, I think it's more like 30. Um, bit of chopping, but also that simmer, it said simmer for eight minutes. I simmered it for 15 minutes and my cauliflower is still really quite al dente crunchy. So yeah, be prepared when you're trying a new recipe, it might take a bit longer. You might not get the sequence in the most ergonomic order, whatever it is, uh, but yeah, try new things that's the important bit isn't it all right lovelies i'll see you again really soon i hope i'm not sure what we'll be doing next but we'll be doing something together so until then look after yourselves happy experimenting in the kitchen just enjoy getting your nose in a bowl of something new to try cheerio